In this video, I am going to explain about the host onboarding with Cisco DNA Center. You know that in previous video, we learned about the 802.1x. Now I am going to explain what are the 802.1x conditions are available in Cisco DNA Center or in Cisco actually SD access. Here, I'm not going to explain about the configuration itself, but I want to show you that your knowledge about the 802.1x is useful in Cisco SD Access host onboarding. You know that in host onboarding, actually, we try to add our host to the Cisco DNA Center or Cisco SD Access fabric. Okay. You will learn about the detail of configuration of Cisco SD Access in Cisco DNA Center in future videos. And I, here I'm going only to show you when you want to configure, uh, for example, or provision a fabric site, okay, you will encounter with this page. Let me to show you again. This is our uh, here, the, as you can see, we, I want to create a fabric site or a STA fabric, let's do it. And here we have some options about the size height hierarchy and you will learn about them. And in the next page, we, uh, uh, we need to go uh, to this actually page, authentication template. Now, according to our knowledge from previous video, we can choose with, at which uh, authentication template is good, is useful for us. Select a template for the fabric site. Means in your fabric site, you want to use which method of authentication? Close authentication, open authentication, low impact, or uh, actually maybe you see other, t other name, easy connect instead of low impact and none. Okay, let me to explain about them in this video. Actually, you know that an 802.1x phased approach is the best way to make sure the transition towards secure network access control is seamless to the end clients and to the administrator also, okay? However, a phased approach requires additional work by the network administrator whenever configuration changes need to be performed on the network devices to move from phase one to phase two or to make change based on the monitor mode observations. Phase deployment, as mentioned in the previous video, involves changing the port level configuration on the network device such as switches. It's time consuming and error prone uh, to make the change manually on all the network devices. In the Cisco SD Access world, the Cisco DNA Center web graphical user interface, as you can see here, is equipped with flexible options to enable the 802.1x mode and change the mode if needed, and provides granular control to modify the default templates. Okay, you will learn with more detail about these features and when you want to implement them. But here we try uh, to understand the Cisco DNA Center various authentication templates available to choose uh, from uh, actually during the fabric host onboarding uh, configuration. Okay, first I'm going to explain about the none. None means no authentication uh, template. And here you can see that this is unsecure, optimal for networks that do not support authentication or require a static uh, configuration. About the no authentication template, actually with no authentication template selected, the fabric edge ports are not configured to do a port authentication. As you can see here in this figure, show running config interface gigabit 103, okay, this is the port interface configuration with no authentication template is applied. Notice that no authentication commands or authentication template are applied to this interface, switch port access VLAN, switch port mode access, and then device tracking, I will explain it, load interval and access uh, actually session and access session again, 
and here you can see no macro auto processing and spanning to report fast okay actually when a client is connected to this port to the port gigabit one zero slash three the client is placed in vlan 1021 okay and no authentication template option is no is not recommended okay because the end clients are not validated before connecting to the network use caution with this uh, when enabling this template at a global level or port level as it could introduce security risk and no authentication template should be applied for troubleshooting or when dealing with clients who do not support that one x and have a static ip configuration also about the device tracking attached policy for example this policy as you can see here this keeps track of the connected host and their ip addresses okay here you can see show running config and then section uh, ID, uh, IPDT means IP device tracking max 10 the, uh, here you can see device tracking policy this is our policy that we apply uh, to this interface IP device tracking or IPDT keeps track of the connected host and their IP addresses this host to IP address mapping is used to populate the uh, downloadable ACLs applied by ICE limits the number of hosts authenticating on the interface and is used to detect ip address conflicts okay ip device tracking is enabled on the layer 2 switch ports during the initial device discovery in cisco dna center the next template is open authentication template as you know open authentication always allows the traffic in either a past or failed authentication okay with the open authentication template selected the fabric edge ports are configured actually in monitor mode okay here you can see the configuration of the open authentication interface gigabit 104 switch port mode access device tracking and then dot one x timeout dot one x max re-authentication request and here you can see source template is this template default wire dot one x open authentication i will explain it and then uh, for example spanning three comment a template named default wire dot one x open authentication is applied on the host facing port okay as part of the cisco trustsec deployment cisco moved uh, toward the new version of ibns ibns version 2 or identity based networking service version 2 let me to explain it but for now we can understand open authentication means monitoring mode okay that i explained before in 802.1x what does it mean it means that all clients that connect to, uh, to this port can uh, according uh, to this uh, configuration can pass their traffic from the port if they pass authentication or if they fail authentication it's not important they uh, can reach to the services of the network actually you know that this is the monitoring mode or visibility mode in 802.1x or actually you know that this is the phase one about the identity based networking services version 2 here you can see uh, the uh, actually overview of ibns version 2 and the various component involved actually ibns version 2 makes use of class map policy map like the quality of service maybe you heard about it attaching to the the policy in a template and using this template in the interface configuration similar to the quality of service or qos policy configuration okay as you can see in this figure a policy map okay contains the actions to be performed when an event is triggered here we have the class map configuration and then policy map and then service policy exactly like the modular qs cli or mqc okay inside of this policy map we have some actions here you can see about the class map here we have event and then 
in the uh, inside of this policy this is our policy for each event okay for each class actually we have action this is our policy and finally all of these policies will apply to the uh, interface the template consists of the policy map as well as service template with the attributes that need to be applied okay the template is applied at an interface level and this approach helps to reduce the number of lines needed because the template is globally configured making configuration uh, con making configuration easy to modify via the inter in uh, via the template instead of making change on every interface okay and the show template interface as you can see here uh, then source user this user choose the configuration in the specified template the template name is this template name and template definition dot phonics pae authenticator switch port access vlan switch port mode access switch port voice vlan mab access session authentication uh, periodic authentication timer and here you can see service policy type this is our service policy that we want to apply and this template actually applied uh, to the interface or to the switch port facing the user here you can see the service template okay and in service template we have some uh, services include the vlan look at here the vlan access vlan and then ipv4 ipv6 acl if available and also the scalable group tag and here uh, we have some classes for classifying traffic and in and in inside of policy map we actually we need to mention to the class that we we defined before and then the action here you can see the actions or service templates and finally all of these are uh, is our policy and we apply to the interface switchboard service policy and then other useful information look at here defined user class map command defined under policy map command policy applied with service policy command configured with uh, template okay and template applied to ports with source a template command the detail of configuration is not for uh, important for us this is only for reviewing also this actually show command uh, can show us the output of show policy map type control subscriber and then this policy which includes the complete policy map with the events the class maps and also the service templates for example in the highlighted section of the output where the event is uh, actually authentication failure if the authentication failure is because the triple a server is down okay the class triple uh, a server down and unauthenticated host okay and the client has not been authenticated yet the action is to activate default critical okay authentication vlan srv template which places the unauthenticated client in the critical vlan all right the next authentication method is the closed authentication and closed authentication is one of the end goals in phase 2 of 802.1x in closed authentication traffic is permitted only if the authentication is successful okay and prior to authentication only extensible authentication protocol over LAN or, or EO, EAPOL traffic is allowed and I explained it in the previous video with the closed authentication template selected for Cisco DNA Center host onboarding the fabric edge ports are configured in closed mode and here you can see the configuration switch port mode access device tracking dot phonics timeout dot phonics max re-authentication request and source template default wire dot phonics closed authentication as you can understand here we don't have any differences between this configuration closed authentication and also open authentic authentication actually the difference is related to the service template inside default wire dot phonics closed authentication okay you can view it with this command the show template okay and after that interface source 
and after that the name of it default uh, wire.funix close authentication okay and you can view the configuration of the policy map and template and also this is for template for policy map you can use show policy map inside of the policies and then type control like the previous uh, actually section of this video and after the subscriber okay and then pmap and then the name of the uh, for example default wire.funx closed authentication dot funx and maybe some other things okay because of that as you can understand we configure uh, the, or the, the DNA center configure on the port the same command source template but the template itself okay is different in closed authentication and also in open authentication you know that we don't configure anything everything is configured from the Cisco DNA center but we can understand the meaning of each of them all right the last authentication template is low impact or easy connect actually easy connect is an authentication template also known as low impact mode okay you know that that it is applies an acl to a port in open authentication okay the acl acts as an additional security mechanism to make sure that only certain traffic is allowed if the client fails authentication here you can see the configuration actually this example shows sample output of the switch port with the easy connect or low impact template provision by cisco dna center and inbound acl with this name is applied to an interface on the interface and the source template in use is the uh, for example default wire.funix low impact authentication in low impact uh, method authentication the pre-authorization acl is only okay is a uh, uh, is only allowing dhcp and dns uh, traffic okay if you need to change the pre-authentication acl or the authentication template parameters you can modify them from the cisco dna center let me to show you you can click on the edit and here it edit and you can see this information deployment mode open and as you can see first authentication method and other parameters are uh, available for example about the deployment mode this is deployment mode this it displays open for open authentication and also uh, easy connect okay displays a uh, closed for closed authentication if you click uh, click on the close and then edit okay this is deployment my model is closed okay but if you uh, click on the low impact okay it can show us the open authentication and in the open authentication if you click on edit the deployment mode is open and as you can understand low impact is working over the deployment mode of open authentication and you cannot change it about the about the first authentication method here we have this option 802.1x and mab or mac authentication bypass selecting the 802.1x radio button causes 802.1x to be executed before failing over to mab okay and about the 802.1x actually mab fallback it means uh, in this example maximum retries is set to a uh, three okay and 802.1x timeout is set to 21 seconds you can understand it about the wake on land uh, uh, it is up it is an option to enable wake on land if that feature needs to be enabled and about the number of hosts choose a single host or unlimited host okay and here we have pre-authentication access control list okay and uh, this is low in for low impact mode this acl option as you can see the name is ipv4 pre-authentication acl as i showed you this acl option is available only for low impact mode or easy connect you can modify the standard acl from the select okay 
uh, authentication here we have the uh, actually features in implicit action is deny you can configure it as permit and also you can define description here we have the uh, actions in the acl the as you can see only the, in this example only the uh, boot pc or dhcp is enabled is permitted and you can add other uh, access features okay boot pc and it means that it is rather too, uh, difficult to remember all the commands to needed to configure class maps, policy maps, and also service policies, okay, service templates, all source templates, and to enable port authentication. With Cisco DNA Center, you can easily deploy these templates with the click of the button, okay? Actually, we can say uh, according to the Fabric Edge device operating system means it is not related to the Fabric Edge devices. For example, they are using Cisco iOS or iOS XE. Cisco DNA Center pushes, pushes the equivalent configuration to all uh, Fabric Edge nodes. Okay, and you know that this may be a use case where the global authentication template is not applicable at the floor level here you will learn about them and it means that uh, suppose a retail customer with all the devices in the fabric has implemented the uh, low impact authentication template okay or uh, or easy connect globally however a new floor is being added to the fabric and the customer wants to start with open authentication template instead okay here you can implement all of these features for example in the previous page i didn't show you because this is a little beyond the scope of this video but in future video you will learn about them here for example you can click on the united states our site hierarchy and california and then the san jose and this is the one of the buildings that we have here in san jose we have for example this floor you can implement for the san jose 05 floor one one method of authentication here next okay and then next okay and after that the open authentication close authentication but you can apply different method okay of authentication for different sire hierarchy you will learn about them don't worry but now we can understand all of the authentication methods available in cisco dna center about the closed authentication about the open authentication low impact and known and don't none uh, don't forget here you can edit them let me to review uh, uh, them closed authentication most secure it is based on 802.1x authentication must succeed prior to network access require network with complete complete 802.1x support open authentication moderately secure based on 802.1x temporary access is granted for pxe for dhcp prior to authentication optimal for networks with limited 802.1x support and then low impact mode okay and here uh, you can see uh, here uh, again moderately secure based on ldap combined with mac address uh, bypass or mab optimal for network using active directory ad authentication and also the non the uh, uns this is unsecure optimal for networks that do not support authentication or require a static configuration now we have the base knowledge okay but we will learn about the detail of these uh, options and how we can configure them in the section of configuration of cisco sd access